Well, it's early summer and uh, we're still under the lockdown of the COVID-19. And um, so I'm, I'm just come back from my bike ride now and my bit of exercise. And um, I noticed some Rose Bay willow herb growing on the hedge here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, an identification feature on it. Just one, quite a good one. And um, I'm going to pick a load, take it home and cook it up because at the moment it's just like asparagus really and uh, I'm going to explain to you what it tastes like what it looks like cooked and also I'll add some um, butter and uh, lemon as well and I'll explain what it tastes like like that as well so um, let's go and have a look and pick some okay that's the general look of the plant this time of year early summer but the leaf itself, if you look very closely at the leaf, uh, the vein going from the midrib out to the edge of the leaf, it doesn't extend all the way to the edge. It just stops just before it and then creates a circular motion all around the edge of the leaf. And that's how you can positively identify this, this plant. So I hope you can see this. But it's the, the, the rib just, uh, the vein just stops just before the edge and then creates a circular motion all the way around. So that's how you can ident positively identify this plant. Right, apart from uh, using them as asparagus at the moment, the, uh, the tender tops, the, uh, the, the the leaves right at the top here you can use as a salad you can what you know if you can wash them and uh, give them a little wash and use them as a salad and the top of the stalk I'll just break it off could have brought broke it off a bit lower actually um, take the leaves off you know you could eat you could eat these as a salad like I said you should give them a wash really um, but the stalk itself right at the top is actually really crunchy and you can eat it raw as well so uh, yeah really nice mmm mmm really tasty really nice there's plenty of it as well you wouldn't get tired of it I don't think mmm <clears throat> so I could have broke it off a bit lower as well actually and it tastes quite nice it might have a little a faint a faint taste of um, pepper just a little bit so don't get mixed up with that poisoning you because um, it's like a pepper is as you as you would know is like a, a burny taste a hot taste but um, it's not it's more it's like a, a very very mild pepper it soon goes anyway but it's not poisonous don't get it mixed up with it being poisonous um, years and years ago when I was in breakaway survival school we couldn't do it now I suppose but uh, we used to make the uh, the students chew on a poised a deadly poisonous plant just for about 15 20 seconds maybe 30 seconds and um, <clears throat> and then spit it out and that, that would show them, I'd done it myself as well, once, um, what, what it's like to taste the burn of, a, of a, a deadly poisonous plant. So, you know, and it was a closely guarded uh, lesson as well, cl very closely watched. And um, the water bottles were out on ready, one bottle per person, so there's no messing around. And, once they've spat it out, they would, um, I'd get them to swig uh, their mouth out twice. So, because none of that, I don't want none of that spit or that plant going down their throat because it, it was deadly poisonous. It could kill you. So, <laughs> that's what we used to do. Anyway, um, anyway, back to, back to the plant in question. Um, yeah, the very the very tops, the leaves at the very top, and the top of the stalk as well. You can break off and eat it raw, and it's really nice, really crunchy. 
so uh, there you go anyway that's that <laughs> okay at the end of the uh, summer when this plant has grown up uh, you can use the pith inside the stalk to uh, thicken soups and stews um, you could use the leaf as a tea and also you could use the petals the nice pink petals as a salad um, or add it to other salads and makes makes the salad look really nice and also when the feather uh, when the seeds come out it goes all feathery and you could use that as uh, a fire starter um, you've got to get quite a lot off a lot of plants but um, it can be done so there you go that's the other uses of the uh, rose bay willow herb Right, I'm going to pick some now. I've got a pen knife this time, so let's cut them off there. Get the nice young ones, I suppose. Uh, watch it don't get stung. Okay, I put them in my bag, put my pen knife away, and then uh, I'll take them home and cook them up. Let's see what it tastes like. Get in. There we go. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take the leaves off and then uh, give them a wash. Okay, next up I'm going to cut them up into bite sizes because uh, I'd prefer to do it like that and handle them while they're cold, it's a bit easier. So, uh, and then I can eat them without a knife later on. So I'll just cut them up, try not to cut myself. All this gear I use in my rucksack, there's nothing from the house. Uh, even this as well, this is a flexible chopping board. So uh, yeah, it's all come from my rucksack. Right, I'll just set my cooker up and then I'll put them in the pot. Just get the pressure off of this. That's it, I don't want it squirting everywhere. It's a quite a hot day today. So I'll just get that in there. Get it lit. First time, lovely. There we go, let's get this lot in the pot. Shouldn't take long, no more than, well, certainly less than 10 minutes. 
probably about five minutes. I mean, some of them tips are actually, you could eat raw. They're so, so fresh. So uh, anyway, let's get this on the top and uh, come back in about five minutes. Oh, while we're waiting for the water to boil, I'd just like to explain that um, what I've got here is, uh, is a chopping board that's a flexible one and um, I bought it from Tesco's and it was actually that long. Um, so that would have been the width and the length would have gone across there. And what I've done is I've cut it in half and then rounded off the edges and then I can slip it in my, in my rucksack in the, uh, the front bit where the water bladder can go. And also I've added my titanium plate by Life Venture, which uh, nestles quite nicely with the 18 centimeter frying pan. That goes nicely with that. And um, I've added this as well. So I put the spirit burner in there, inside there, and I put my, my cup on top of there so I don't have to use the pot to boil water. I can just boil it straight from the metal mug. And uh, I've added this as well. It's got two uses. One is to clean the pots. If I am going to foliage to use to clean the pots and it stops everything from rattling. So when it's uh, all packed away. So that's what I've done with my transier. And it works quite nicely actually. Oh, also with this, you can fan the flames if you make a fire or fan yourself if you're too hot. <laughs> Let's see, uh, see if I can get a thick bit. Hmm, yeah, definitely done. Put this out. Drain the water out. Strain the water out. Oh. Over there. there we go. And let's get it on there. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm falling over here. Taste test time, not comfortable. There, it's sort of faded a little bit. Nobody can see that. It's a light green and without anything on. If I get a thick bit. Mm. Yeah, it's quite nice. Just like asparagus, really. Mm. I could, did cut one long bit and um, to see how far I can go down. I don't know whether you noticed earlier on in the film. And um, I wouldn't cut it any lower than that. And, uh, mm. Yeah, it's all right. Quite nice. Okay, I'll try it now with a bit of butter and um, lemon. I'll just melt the butter. Get the cooker started again.
Right, while that's melting, I'll put some lemon on before it goes cold. Don't put too much. That'll do. I use that for a cup of tea later. Right. Okay. Mix it in a bit. Oh, I'll sit, I'll sit this way this time. I was a bit uncomfortable before. Mmm, that that's real nice, yeah. Mmm, nice and soft. Not too bad a taste. Not as good as a hogweed, but um, it's all right. I think mix it with other things would be quite nice. Not that it's awful, it's not bad at all. I could eat all this, no problem. Anyway. You don't want to watch me eat, eat this, so uh, just like to say thanks very much for watching this far. And um, feel free to uh, like, subscribe and share and all that stuff. And um, see you again sometime. Cheers. Bye.